Ashley. Yes. You know, I had to put the Lee on it. Oh, absolutely. Because it was Brit. Yes. Hmm. No, and no. now it's a Lee. Now it's oh, a Lee. And we will talk. And we will talk. Come on, girl, come on, come on. Thank you. And it's a Lee. Mm -hmm. So listen, first of all, this is my bestie. Mm -hmm. Los Angeles, California. Yes. I met her in 2016 okay. at the bar. Because what you're going to do is meet me at the bar. Okay. So let's oh, do a little toast yeah, to that. Toast toast. You're going to meet me at the bar. <laughs> OK, salute to that, ladies. Mm -hmm. Let's get into mm -hmm. a boo. Mm -hmm. Met him in LA. What happened? Let's go. OK, so single, single life, living my best life. How old are you, though? Oof, 43. <laughs> 43. This is a good 43. 43 and amazing. Thank Don't she you. look good, honey? Mm. Thank you. Green is giving it. Vintage oh. millennial. <laughs> a vintage millennial, honey. Like fine wine. You wish you like looked fine wine. Yes, because that's what I drink. That's what I want. So, but how old were you when this incident happened? Oh, goodness gracious. I was in mm, 30s, late 30s. Okay, so yeah. good 10 years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. yeah so right. late 30s. Um, Met this guy on a dating app. Do you remember the app? Oh, I, I want to say oh, maybe it was Bumble, sure. maybe. Okay. But, okay. you know, you it was one slide right, yeah. slide left. Yeah, that's what we do. Slide so, down. yeah. Slide so down. I did connect with yeah. someone, yeah. and his location at the time was in Los Angeles. Okay. So, you know, we end up exchanging numbers and talking, and he invited me out to um, his house because he was in L.A. at the time. What, and what, he was at an Airbnb. In LA? No, so he was at visiting. A, visiting. So he's a visitor. So this, this is what I know at okay. the time. This okay. is what I know. Okay. So he was at an Airbnb, and he invited me over, and so I went. You know, no issue. I, I was cool with it. We had been talking for some time now, so I was like, all right. It had been like maybe two or three weeks, mm -hmm. and so when I get there, he's really nice. He's really cool. We're sitting there. We're talking, and come to find out, he's actually from Houston. And born and was, raised, or just I, we don't that know. part I don't know. Just curious. But he was in Houston, right. or from Houston, right. and um, he was out here, in, or excuse me, out in LA for work. So I was like, okay, cool. So I'm asking, like, you know, well, what's your situation like in Houston? Like, girlfriend, this, you know, and. I did ask him as we were talking prior to me meeting up, but I always like to sure be face to face sure. because your facial expression and is it's going more to again. tell me everything, yeah. right? Another connection. Right. Mm -hmm. So he's like, no, nothing's going on. Now mind you, this is a handsome, okay. handsome guy. Well, what does he look like? Yeah. Is he tall? He was tall. Okay. You know I don't do short. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> Call it what it is. Okay, this okay. is 5'9", right oh, here. Yeah. I don't do short. And you put on there four inches. And you put on inches. Okay. And you put on inches. So okay, we're, not doing, we're not doing short. Okay. Okay. So yeah, he's about, he was taller than me. Very handsome, you know, and I was just like, okay, I can, you know, we're, we're chilling, we're vibing. Yeah. You know, I'm not looking for anything serious because now, especially, I know you live in Houston. You're not even from sure. LA. So sure. I'm, I'm not moving to Houston. So you're going down there to hang out with him to just be casual, casual just moment. Like just fun. Fun. Okay. Because we're living our best lives. Living right. Because that's, okay. that's what we do. Right. Exactly. Right. Do. And uh, for well, me, we're supposed to do. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm not looking for anything serious, period. Whether he lived in LA or yeah. lived in Timbuktu. You're living your best life. I'm living my best yeah. life. As we okay. do. So eventually, you know, we talk, no sexual nothing for the, the first meeting. Sure. OK. okay. Yeah. And so he's still <laughs> out here, you know, because like I said, on work, work purposes. And eventually we hang out again. And yes, we do have sex. Fine. OK. okay. Was it good? Sure. It was. Okay. It was It was good. Fine. Right. OK. Right. Admission. It was worth it. It, it was, was worth it. it. All right. right. So he goes back to Houston. OK. So we're still communicating, but the communication is it's not as Consistent, uh -oh. right? So, like, I would call so and we're he would, seeing the drop. We, we got, we got a little something there, right? So, yeah. I, I would call and he wouldn't answer, you know. And then he would call me randomly, not like late at night or anything crazy like that. But it would just be like I would call and then maybe like three days later I would get a call back. Okay. Wait, wait, hold, wait, hold on, hold on. I got a problem with that already. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm texting you to communicate with you, mm -hmm. speak to you, hang out with you, and it takes you three days to respond. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you think already that was an issue? Stupid. 
I'm, I'm, I'm going to call sure, it what it is. Sure, sure. I mean, yeah. that's what we're talking about yeah. this. I yeah. mean, I mean, course. it is what it right. is. Yeah. And I can admit to that. Yeah. Right. Reflecting you know, I can, on it. No, you see. I mean, I liked him because he was so cool. Yeah. And it, okay. it was kind of like a turn on that he lived. Yeah, of course. Why not? Like, it's a different like, vibe. Like, yeah. A little southern. A little down south, a little yeah. moment. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 yeah. You know, I, I can ride with yeah. that. Yeah. I can ride with that. Okay. So he ended up coming back out. So, okay. So, excuse me. Let me, let me take that back. So he would call like three days later and we would kind of talk, but I'm no pressure. I'm a no pressure type okay, of chick. So that was she's my not, next question. She's not at all. I'm I not. Mean, when, he, when he calls back I, three days later, are you like, where you been? No. Or no. Okay. Because, and the reason why is because I'm not really yeah. seeing you for anything. Okay. You're not checking for him anyway. Right. You live in Houston. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. okay. Hey, what's up? That's, that's, we're, we're on that level. Yeah. Okay. So eventually he comes back out. This time he brings friends, right? Um, I can't really remember. I don't know if it was someone's birthday or, or something or a football game or, or whatnot that they were actually coming out to, to visit back, you know, coming back out to L.A. But he brought his friends this time. So he were invited. They, what did they look like? <laughs> Listen, they was all fuck boys. And I should, that should have been a red flag then and there. Like, right because when I met the friends, I was like, uh-uh, uh, yeah, yeah, not yeah. It's computing. It's a group. It's yeah, a fuck it, boy, it, it, yeah. fuck boy trip. Right, right. It right. Is. Okay. Basically. Like a boy band. Right. It's actually boys. true. Like, L.A., honestly, when I lived there, Men would come, like groups. We got a boys trip to Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then they rent a, rent a house in yeah. the hills. Uh, and it'd be 10 of them in a house. And they think we're all going to fuck you in this house. Almost like, like Vegas. Like, like, yeah. yeah. Vegas it's, type of What stays vibe. in Vegas. Right. But Hollywood is kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a moment. It, it's, it's, it's real. Yeah. It, it's a real vibe. That's what they do. <laughs> so <laughs> friends are out here. He's out here. We link up again. Yeah. Okay. He's having a barbecue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I go, I bring my friend okay. Stasha. Yes, okay. Stasha. I bring my friend Woo! Stasha. Okay, because she know how to act. Stasha be on next time. Right. Yeah. We're going to talk to Stasha in a minute. Okay. <laughs> so we go, and honestly, the vibe was just... So she knows, it, Stasha knows him. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. So it, the vibe was just off. But I'm just enjoying myself for what it is. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And we're, we're, it, it, it got to a point where we're at the table. I'm trying to remember correctly. We're at the table, and then another slew of women walk in. <laughs> not a slew. Now, yeah, a slew. Not a, not a slew. Because he had his boys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, oh, gosh. Uh-oh. It was one particular girl. She walks in, and I'm like, oh, shit, I know her. Like, we're... F- like, we're not friends, but we're friends. I've seen her before yeah. from another mutual guy friend. And so I'm looking, I'm thinking to myself, okay, what is going on here? So, you know, Stasha and I, we're, we're, we're downstairs. We're, we're just, you know. Sure, sure yeah, you're hanging. We're out. Hanging. And eventually it, it got a little messy. It didn't have anything to do with me. <laughs> it didn't have nothing to do with this my friend. This sound messy. Right? <laughs> but it got to a point, things got messy, and we ended up leaving. Okay. Okay. So, the, so I, Houston I, guy is still there. He's still there. Okay. 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 With his friends. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you and Stasha leave. We leave. Yes. And I'm single. I'm, I'm gonna do what I do. Mm-hmm. My friend does the right thing and she drops me off at home and then I hop back in my car and I go back to the house. Now I'm by myself. Okay. 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 This is in L.A. This is in L.A. Okay. okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm back there. Okay. Right. So. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it is what it is, right? Yeah, wait, but I, this is such an L.A. story. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, if you ever live in L.A., you're going to run into some shit like this, okay? This is real. Okay. It is real. So I go back or whatever. Things happen. Sure. Get up. I leave. Mm-hmm. They fly back out. They sure. go to whatever. I think it was. I really think it was a football game. Sure. But they leave. So we're still communicating, but it, we're back on the I call he waits two days, whatever, and then I get a call back. Once again, I'm saying, I'm not checking yeah, for you, but checking. you know, so you're I'm not trying. really looking for that. Right. Right. That's not the necessity at the time. Right. Mm-hmm. So he, we end up talking, talking, and he's like, you should come to Houston. I'll fly you out. Can I stop you right there? Yes. I'm confused. Mm-hmm. So he wants to fly you to Houston. He, he proposes. Mm-hmm. Let me fly you to Houston. Mm-hmm. Let's hang out. Mm-hmm. But he's inconsistent in mm-hmm. his communication to you. Mm-hmm. So what makes you feel like I'm gonna go hang out with somebody who's inconsistent with me? 
He's not even checking for you. From what I'm hearing, yeah, yeah. he's not even really checking for you. Right. So what make you say, like, oh, I'm going to go to Houston and hang out with this person who's not even really checking for me? A free trip. Mm. I'm, the honest I'm, answer. Can we toast to a free trip? I, Let's toast to well, a free trip. I mean, not, not, that, not to say, yeah, it's okay. Not, not to say that I can't afford it. it. Yeah. But it was a, I mean. If you are offering, I'm coming. Mm. I'm just never offered. Yeah. So this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm never offered. Girl, stop. I, mm. I promise you I'm not. Have you ever heard? After this, you'll get a lot of offers. Have you ever heard? <laughs> okay. No, I, let, let me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So do you, you should come out to, to Houston. I'll fly you yeah. out. So I'm like, okay. So my trip was from a Friday to a Monday. Huh. Okay. So I fly out. I get there. I arrive in Houston Friday afternoon. He comes and picks me up from the airport. So you're looking good, smelling good. Uh, yeah, because that's what I do. Because I, I never... Do. Hair I, is lit. Yeah, I don't do anything less yes. than. Mm -hmm. as, as we... Hello. And continue. And so you arrived. He was at work. So during his lunch, he comes to pick me up, right, from the airport. He takes me back to. Um, he didn't even take off for the day's job. No. Okay. 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 Listen, okay. Oh, I, I, I'm listening. Stupid. I'm just listening. Stupidity. I'm just I'm, listening. I'm being uh, stupid. He didn't left his work lunch break. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm a lunch break. <laughs> Lunch break. Well, like he ain't I'm gonna come get you on my lunch break. Right. Day. <laughs> you can't take the day off. You got PTO, motherfucker. You ain't got eight hours, motherfucker. You. Know? <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> so he drops me off at his apartment or whatever, and he goes back to work. And then he like throughout the day, he's like texting me and letting me know like, hey, we're gonna link up or whatever. I booked a hotel room in downtown Houston because he kind of lived like on the outskirts. And so he was like, I booked a hotel room downtown oh Houston. So we can be closer to things. Love that's that. that's pretty reasonable, right? Okay, that makes sense. I love that. And so he comes home, and then he's like, "Okay, get dressed. We're gonna go and hang out." So we go hang out. I now see his friends, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Oh, Asha, like, what's up?" Da -da -da. And I'm just like, "Hey, living they're giving you energy, they're like you, energy. like you, like, the best woman he's ever right, met." Right, right. Okay. So I'm just like, "Okay." Hey guys, you know how are you guys doing? We're doing shots, we're having a good time. Yeah. You know, party's over. Yeah. Okay. So then Saturday hits. So I pack a bag because we're going to this hotel. Mm. Okay. So we pull up, we get out of the car, we walk into the lobby, and we're standing in line. Okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> out of the corner of my eye, Child, let me I see ready. a woman. Let me get ready. Walk across. Let me get ready. Walk across. Walk across, and then stands to his left hand side and says, "So is this her?" Now, mind you, I'm in Houston. I, I don't. I don't know anyone. Wait, she says what now? So is this her? So, what does that even what is, mean? I, 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 I don't know. But in my yeah. mind, I'm in Houston. I'm by myself. Yeah. Don't know anyone. Mm. If I got to get down in this lobby, I'm going to get down. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't let the red bottle fool you. <laughs> Please don't let it fool you. Okay? Please don't. Okay? So I'm in, like, defense mode right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm standing saying, there. Are you saying anything at this no, point? No, I'm not saying okay. anything. So because what is he doing, though? Uh -huh. He's silently talking to her. Like... And, on the side, like on the side, like on the side. But we're all standing next to each other. Me, him, her, and I'm just. And he's just whatever he's saying. All I heard so you're was watching this play. I'm out. watching this play out. So Mind she you, sees a man that she flew with, flew, or flew for, mm -hmm. talking to another woman in the lobby. Yes. And at this point, you don't know who she is. I don't know who she is. Okay. <laughs> so like I said, defense. I'm I'm on, I'm on it right, right now. Right. Things is clicking. And I'm thinking to myself, well, Asha, this, this isn't you, first of all. So you, we're not going to do hood shit <laughs> like that. Right. We're in a nice hotel. We're in the lobby. We're, and as, we're, as she's still there, we're moving up in the line. <laughs> okay? We're, we're walking up two steps. Child, you got a third party in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> she, has, she is part of the group. She is part of the group. Okay, I should have introduced myself. Yeah, like, hey, yeah, I'm Asha. Right. Okay, from okay. LA. <laughs> that got flown in. Yeah, okay. okay, that's me. Right. So I am me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So she walks off. Yeah. 
I still don't say anything. We get all the way up to the counter. You say nothing. Why? I say nothing mm. because I didn't want to act out in that area. Okay. Let's explore. Okay. No, ma'am, I'm not going to let that pass. I, it's, no. just, it's, it's not me. That was a not only is it not you, is there anything else behind that as to why you won't act out? Because I don't know what it can turn into. Exactly. Okay. Right. That's, I, how, I, I, that's yeah. how mature she is. Right. You're yeah. already thinking, I can't act out in this lobby or wherever we are. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's about to happen right. in Houston. Right. Mm -hmm. You live in mm -hmm. Los Angeles. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't you got know this what man, it. she could have her homegirls in the no car idea, right, what you're at the corner. Mm -hmm. But, so I, I think you handled that, that brilliant. Great decision. I, yeah. 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 I so I was just, I was, okay. Yep. So he goes through, he signs everything. We go up to the room, get the key, go up to the room. I still don't say anything. So we get inside the room and I'm like, nah, because now it's him and I, we're in a room. I'm thinking, okay, so what, what, is, what was that all about? Right. So of course, you know, he's just doing the man thing. Like, well, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, uh, and I'm just like, what is going on? So wait, 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 wait. So you, so you guys are in the room. Mm -hmm. You're in your hotel room that he paid for. Mm -hmm. This was already agreed upon. Mm -hmm. you, you had this interaction with this woman in the lobby. Mm -hmm. So he's up in the room like, I don't even know. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know. Which, by the way, I've heard that. Yeah. By the way. That, that's kind of a. Yeah, I've heard yeah, that. Yeah, we've, we've all. Yeah. Women know yeah. what that is. Right. The, we know what that the, is. Yeah. 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 Like, we need come captions. On. Right. Yeah. yeah, right. So, so he's doing this. He's doing all this, and he's like, let me go to the restroom. So he goes into the restroom and he's in the restroom for about, I'm gonna say like 10 minutes. All of a sudden he comes back out. Wait, time out. Do we know where this other female is yet? Or she no, left, no, right? no, uh, yes. She, right, she and, and, and at that right. moment, yes, yes, I saw her <laughs> walk was, away. Okay, okay. So he comes out of the restroom and says, I need to go downstairs. <laughs> okay. I'm like, all right, okay. I'm not asking for what, I'm not asking why, I'm not asking, and yes, I understand, those are very important questions, but when it's happening to you, yeah. it, sometimes yeah, you're you just, you're, yeah. you're not really yeah. like mm -hmm. quick on your toes, as you should be. Right. But I just, I was just like, okay, I'm whatever. I was shocked there for you too. Yeah. You weren't yeah. anticipating that. Right, yeah. so I'm just mm -hmm. like, you know what, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the room by myself. I'm gonna say like maybe 15, 20 minutes passes. All of a sudden the door, I hear the door open. <laughs> in walks her and him. Yes. Mm -hmm. The young lady that was downstairs in the lobby on mm -hmm. his left-hand side was now in the room. What? So now what? I'm on <laughs> high alert. Mm -hmm. So now I'm looking at stuff in the room. I'm but keeping how it 100. She looking at I, I, no, no, I, she, I can't process Okay, this. first of all, she let's be honest. She walked in as calm as could be. It wasn't so like she came used flying to through the door. She's got to be used to this. 100%. I mean, who's calm with their man in a hotel room with another supermodel woman? Right. Well, and, and at this point, you don't know what their I, relationship I, I is, that, right? I don't this know woman that. just came and she walks in a random. Right. So we, you have no idea what is no really idea. going on, which is even more scary. Right. Who is this woman? Right. That's why oh, is she that's here? And, and with that, that's why this I'm looking scary. at stuff in yeah. the room because oh I'm God. like, if I got to defend myself. Absolutely. Because yeah. now we're, we're, it's three of us in a room. In a room. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm sitting on the couch. I don't even move. I'm sitting on the couch. I watch her walk in and she sits right next to me. Y'all had a sofa in your hotel room? There was a sofa in the hotel room. What kind of hotel room y'all had? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had a Must sofa in the nice, nice. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I only do the best. <laughs> that, that, you're not doing less. That's why she went on the trip. <laughs> You're, you're not doing le you're not doing less than it's okay. It, it, <laughs> a sofa in the hotel room. Keep going on it. <laughs> so she comes and she sits right next to me, and now it clicks. Mm. Oh, she's too calm. Mm. She's too calm. Mm. She's been through this before, mm. right? And mm. at the same time, it's registering to me like. Girl, remember you live in LA. Yeah. yeah. Th she, you, th this, this is whatever, whatever, whatever right. is happening right here. Because I still don't know whatever's happening right here. Here, this is Houston. That's scary. I'm in LA, and it was scary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, okay. She and I'm like, Matt, I'm her. I was like, her energy is cool. So I should don't trip. Very mature. Don't trip. Because okay. how many women? On let's let's. Mm -hmm. I would respond in that way. I wouldn't be mad. I'm giving that energy to the man. 
Mm -hmm. I don't blame the woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is his doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for the fact that you ran into another woman who had that kind of same thought mm -hmm. process, I guess, mm -hmm. shows the level of how she has to deal with his disrespect, mm -hmm. which yeah. means she must be desperate. Mm -hmm. Why are you dating a man who is comfortable enough to bring another woman to a hotel in another city, mm -hmm. you walk up on them, mm -hmm. and y'all have a conversation. It's huh? okay. Yeah. That makes right. Makes no, what's it's her no. problem? Right. right. What's, what's, yeah. So she sits down. Like I said, I'm feeling her, her, her mm -hmm. energy. I'm like, okay, she's cool. She's not tripping. So I ain't got the back slap. No, I'm just joking. I would never do that. But you know, I'll just. <laughs> no, we don't. Well, listen. We're, mm, okay. We'll be ready. I was waiting. Yes, we'll be ready. <laughs> we'll be ready. So she then starts to say like, so what's going on, right? <laughs> do you do you want to tell her me what this is, right? Right. What are you thinking in this moment? No, I'm just listening. Yeah, I'm not thinking. Not I, I'm, I'm my my I'm, I'm just listening. And of course, oh well, that's a cancer you know, vibe. Well, um, you know. And she was like, no, tell her who I am, and how serious we are. Mm -hmm. Come to find out, this was his girlfriend. She took, he took in her kids. Mm. They live together. Mm. I'm, and I'm sitting in my chair like, okay, mm. okay. This is, this, is, this is where we're at. Now, mind you, he's not saying anything. Mm. Then she says, do you know what you put her in? You put her in a fucked up situation. Because what if it wasn't me downstairs? What if it was my cousin? What if it was my auntie mm -hmm. and would have just fought her? So she said that in front of him. In mm -hmm. front of him. And what he said? Nothing. Of wow. course he, Alicia. Wow. Nothing. Alicia. Wow. Nothing. What, what kind of, what is this? This is a man that honestly is very weak in my eyes. Mm -hmm. um, what in the world is he putting you in? So like, what, I could, I, what is that? I could have really tussled downstairs. Right, absolutely. Did he I could have three some like what do you what do you what do was you think his... he just The reason why I can't comprehend this is I I, I can't process this is mm -hmm. because He's so calm and she's so calm. Mm -hmm. why, why are they so calm? And you're like, what the fuck is going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're supposed to be having a weekend. Right. That's why I feel like, is it a setup in some way? Yeah, but see, my thing is, if it was a setup, let's just say they wanted this threesome, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you have communicated with your girl prior to like, hey, this is her. This is what she looks like. Right. You know, she's really cool. She's kind of open to everything. You know, sure. or whatever. Sure. Whatever you know? it is, yeah. And then she's like, yeah, okay, bring her in. Yeah. Then when she would have walked over here, she would have just like, is this her? And then she would have introduced herself. And I would have known what was going on. Right. You, you know like right. Something. A communication. And I've never given him any inkling, any thought like, yeah, I get down with yeah, the Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Never, yeah. He that, played you. Like, yeah, it's, he it's, played yeah. you and her. Yeah. He played both of y'all. So he yeah. literally s tried to set the situation up without informing the two females. It, I don't know, to be honest with you, I don't know what situation. You're both here, I'm here. Yes, like. Just saying. Exactly. That, and you know what? That's what it sounds like. Like, so hey, you're you here. Get out of this shit. Okay, so. How are you in this shit? First of all, I'm sorry you had to go through that yeah, fear. Too. Yeah. I, yeah. You, you know, you did not deserve yeah. any of that. I, I that fear that, that yeah, you sorry. went through, that is yeah. scary. Someone showing up in your hotel room that you don't in know. In a different state. In a different state. Mm -hmm. The door locks, I assume, in the back yeah. as any whole hotel room. Mm -hmm. sure. Where is sure. your mind going in that moment? You know, that's. Yeah, sure. it, 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 it clearly, I didn't deserve it. Right. It was, and, and if he would have just kept it 100 in the beginning, hey, do you have a girlfriend? Are you dealing with anyone? Is something blah, blah, blah? And he was like, and I asked him that, and he was like, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. At least you're giving me the control to figure out, do I want to do this, mm -hmm. or is this is not for me? Mm -hmm. You're giving me back the power. You took all power. Let mm -hmm. me speak on that real quick. Mm -hmm. I, I do have something to say to that, because... Mm -hmm. Communication is key, right? Oh, yeah, but here's absolutely. what I well, here's what I'm learning in my experience with men. I have I've been told, just tell me the truth. What are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Do you want to fuck me? Do you want to marry me? Do you not maybe know what you want? Mm -hmm. What is it? And they say they will never tell you the truth because us as women won't tell them the truth. Uh, sorry, we won't accept the fact that they'll mm -hmm. say, I only want to fuck you. 
I would rather you tell I me. Would, I would rather Because you then I will me. make the executive decision and say, mm -hmm. you're right, I don't want to fuck you too. You know what? But they don't want to take that chance. Right. Right. Is that manipulation? No, unfortunately, I, I, just to play devil's advocate, yeah, unfortunately, I want... there's a lot of females Let's go. that want to fix their partner, right? Mm. So if they are in this relationship or dating or whatever, they think that, okay, maybe there could be a component that we could work on, even if he says, I only want to fuck you. Mm. But in the female's mind, a lot of times, not everybody, because everybody's different, they almost want to help them, mm. nurture them, Let's explore help them that. grow. Let's explore that. Is that patriarchy? Where is that coming from? Mm. Why are we as women conditioned to say, this man only wants to have sex with me, but somehow, mm. some way, mm -hmm. I'm gonna utilize my femininity, mm -hmm. my womanhood, my level of love, and change that. Mm -hmm. We know it's not gonna change right, it. Right, right. It never right. fucking it changes, changes that. It does it. Never why are we, are we conditioned, like, is society setting us up to say, just be patient mm -hmm. with him. Just be patient. Because when I'm not patient with you, I'm mean, I'm cruel. Mm -hmm. I intimidate you. <laughs> yeah. Right, no, absolutely, and that, you know, that's more than one answer, right? So yeah. it depends on what someone's history is. You know, yeah. how, again, I always go back to what was your childhood yeah. like? Yeah. What were it's you exposed to? Yeah, Everything, childhood. that yeah, first absolutely. relationship that you saw or maybe did not see is going to impact you for the rest of your life if you continue to let it to. Mm -hmm. And unless you work on those assets mm -hmm. from that history, mm -hmm. and then yes, there's societal issues, there's so many different things that contribute to why a person is the way they are and the way they move forward. Um, Can I ask a question about that? Yeah. As a woman, right, like we're dating, whatever. Now, luckily, she's met an amazing man. Yes. Mr. Lee, shout, out. We'll shout him out, Mr. Lee. We, where's the camera? We, 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 we get Mr. Lee, we love you. Okay, but what I want to say is, like, how as us women, how can we, how can I make sure that you are showing up for me in a healthy space? If I see there's a red flag, should I just dart out? Should I try and work with you? Should I not say I'm going to judge you? Where do I say, ha, I see it, and that's that? I would communicate that. Okay. Communicate that red flag to them. Because a lot of times, for anybody, you don't know what a problem is until someone tells you it's a problem. Yeah, and you could sure. disagree, right. or you could move forward and say, okay, I can work on this. This is something we can work on. It really is that communication asset, and also the way that people communicate is all different as well. So I could say, for example, I'll give you an example of my marriage, right? Yeah, yeah. For the first couple of years of my marriage, the way I would want my husband to take the trash out, I'd be like, oh, the trash needs to be taken out. <laughs> Right? Like, that's the way <laughs> I thought that he would put, pick up sure, on sure, sure, down, sure, sure, sure. right? So go take it all, right? Yeah. But for him, he'll be like, oh, yeah, it needs to be taken out. Yeah. But I didn't realize I needed to communicate it exactly what it was. Can you please take the trash out? Versus saying, oh, I think the trash needs to be taken yeah. out. You know where my downfall with that is? Yeah. I will take the trash out, not realizing, because I'm looking at that as a chore, how I was raised, you take mm -hmm. the trash out. Mm -hmm. Not realizing... He may say this is he's the leader of the household. Uh -huh. This is somehow a masculine duty, mm -hmm. and he should take it out. And I'm stepping over him by taking it out. I'm just making sure that the trash is out. Right, right. But then here's the thing: the trajectory. <laughs> if you keep doing that, yeah. he's gonna think you're gonna keep taking it out. Mm -hmm. So one day, Ooh! down the line, you're, you're yeah. right. You have a family situation. You got kids. You got a baby here. Whatever you're doing, right. You want him to take that trash out, but you've been taking it out for the last five years. And in mm. conclusion, I just, wanna, I just wanna say, she has met an amazing man, Mr. Mm. Lee. You know, I love to call him Mr. Yes. Lee. Her <laughs> husband, I was there, front row. Mm. Front row, She yeah. was in, it was an all black affair. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yes. But you share that he communicates. Mm. So the difference between, had Houston said, you know what, I'm gonna fly you down and maybe I want you to be my girl, he don't know anything right. what you like. He didn't commute, which is manipulation, I assume, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for the fact that he didn't do that, but your husband now communicate, you know everything. Yeah, I know everything about this man. Like, right. and that's why she that's married so, right. from the jump. Yeah. yeah I always tell jump. folks it's so important to communicate everything, no matter mm. what it is. Yeah. Even if you mm. think it's dumb, if you feel embarrassed, if you're shy about it, just talk about it. Talk about yeah. it. Get it yeah. out there. So the theme of this segment with you, Miss Lee, <laughs> Lee. Communicate. 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 Just talk about just it. Just talk about it. You want to fuck me, you want to hang out, you want to have a drink, you want to do whatever. 
You want to listen to a sound bath in the evening? What do you want to do? You know what I mean? And to your point, and you said that, had he said to me, hey, this is what I'm looking to do, you'd be like, all right, no, it's not my deal. Right? right? It's not my right. deal. But he never did. He had an intent there, yeah. which was manipulation. Mm. Love it. Thank mm. you, my love. You look good. Thank you. You look good. Thank you. And you know what? You're married and happy. Yes, I and am. And Houston doesn't even matter. <laughs> no. And an inspiration to other females who've gone through this, and now you're a success Yay. in relationships. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. <laughs>